So today I'll be demonstrating how to get your keybinds working, your media keys working on Spotify Ubuntu 20.04. So you have this play pause button, next song button and your previous button. So when you install 20.04 Ubuntu, these media keys tend to not work for some reason. So today I'll be showing you how to make it work for Spotify. So first of all, we'll have to install some packages. So I have a list right here. So we have xbind keys, which is our main package. And then we have xbind keys config. What the config part does is it lets us access a graphical user interface, which makes it easier for us to edit. And we also have a decon f editor which lets us see our key bindings and the key code names for our play pause buttons. So first of all, open up your terminal and let's install these. So sudo apt install xbind keys. You can see that for me it says xbind keys is already the newest version. This is because I've already installed it. So it would be something else for you but make sure it installs successfully so let's install xbind keys config now i get the same message because i've already installed it but it will be something for you something else for you and let's install the last one which is dconf editor so sudo apt install dconf editor and it's installed so let's clear this so we have these commands here which are our commands that we will be putting into xbind keys config so basically what these commands do is it pauses the song you can do the next song or you could do the previous song so let me show you how this works so let's open Spotify. So if I go into this, I can move Spotify to our first page. Let's open up Spotify. And I'm going to put this here. and let's open our terminal so let's say we want to play this song you can see it says water fountain by Alec Benjamin so let's play we can copy this message and if I put it into terminal it should start playing the song so she told me that she loved me you can see water fountain. You, you could see that the audio started playing by this command that we entered into our terminal so the same command can pause or play that's why it's called the play pause command so there's also the next command which will change the song the next song which is this button right here on spotify and there's also the previous command which is this button on spotify which would make the song play the previous one that we played on spotify so let's close spotify for now and let's clear our terminal now what we need to do is open up xbind keys config so xbind keys config is what you need to write into the terminal to open it and you can see that it opened so you won't it won't look like this for you it will have some other keybind here so all you need to do is just change our key values here so it may look a bit complicated right now but I'll show you how to do it so this name is the name of our key bind so this can be anything it doesn't matter so this key is the important part and that's the reason why we installed dconf editor so we can open up dconf editor right here and it says don't forget that some options may break up applications so be careful so make sure to be careful and if we go into org and then no settings daemon 
plugins and then media keys you can see that you have all of these media keys right here so let's set our play pause button first so you can see play pause right here I will show you how to do this. so all you need to do is press new here and then name it something I'm gonna name it play pause one because I already have a play pause one which I have done myself before so now key you can press get key and then hit the key you want but it doesn't work because gnome doesn't let you execute that key so what you need to do is go into this media keys section in DconF editor and then let's find static play static so if I go into play static under media keys you can see that in the description it says static binding to start playback or toggle play or pause so that's the key we want and you can see that our default value is x f8 e6 audio play so copy that and then you just need to paste it right here so that's what I did on my previous one so you can see play pause see I pasted in xf86 audio play now this is the action action means our command so this is what will be sent over to our terminal so to get this working copy over the command we have so you can copy over this one into this section so I can do it for this one right here Done. and if we run action it would work but we don't have Spotify open so it won't work right now so that's basically it and you need to do this for all of them so we did it for play pause I can delete this one for now because we have already created one let's look at the next one so if I go into decon F editor again you can see that there is a next track one but we're looking for next static so make sure to look for the static media keys so you have this xf86 audio next this will make our this is the key code for our next play button so you just you can copy this over into our X bind keys config paste it in the key right here and you can name it whatever you want to for the action I will provide these commands into our in the description so you can just copy this in and then you can paste it into the section area and then you can make sure to click save and apply uh, first of all click apply and once you're done with all of them you can click save and apply and exit so let's look at the previous one now so for the previous one go back into decon F editor and let's look for previous so previous static right here and our default value is XF86 audio previous so copy that over into our xbind keys config so right here that's our key xbind xbind keys config key is our xf86 audio previous which is the key that we have to hit and our action we can copy it over from our notes and you can paste this in to our commands which is our action uh, once you're done with all of them you can click on save and ex apply and exit and it should save so if you did this properly you can open up Spotify and if you hit the key that you want let's hit play pause it should start the song oh wait sorry I need to do x bind keys 
She told me that she loved me and she didn't love him. So you can see that it works. You can see that it worked. So now that's all for now. Thank you.